Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a beautiful day. As I'm about to be hit by a car. <laughs> but basically, I'm here to show you the preparation of Eid because we have like almost seven days remaining and people are shopping at such a high rate. I'm excited to see what we also get. So, this is how busy Djibouti is this night everyone is up and about shopping getting things that they need which is amazing and beautiful to watch raw real footage of Djibouti city I'm told actually that uh, after some time like after two days you'll not be able to even see vehicles coming into the market because it will be very 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 busy yeah so this is Djibouti for you so what are people shopping mostly new clothes for Eid okay so as usual guys this is Djibouti at night yeah right now it's around past 10 already and I'm with Mahmoud there he is yeah I'm a lover of Djibouti at night because it tends to be like this very active town that I love definitely of course it is influenced by the fact that many people uh, escape coming out to do like shopping because it's going to be at night during the day it's very sunny yeah so at night everything turns amazingly beautiful ahead of us how it's glittering and just shining and how Djibouti is <sighs> so why do people shop at night mostly night is very calm uh -huh. then there's no sun there's no sun so we prefer that the people they come at this time ah, okay. Okay, okay. as a Jewish so are you shopping for Eid? Uh, actually it's been a long time <laughs> since it's I been a long time. <laughs> yeah. the only thing that I show yeah. is just buy a kamis. Ah, okay. Yeah. I get so a kamis is what he's dressed in uh, right now kanzu yeah <laughs> It happens, the reality of growing up. So let's take a minute and explain what Eid means because I keep saying Eid holiday, Eid celebration. So if you know or you don't know, now I'm here to tell you that Muslims have been fasting for the Ramadan for the last 30 days and on their day of celebrating the end of Ramadan, they have a holiday or a festive or a celebration that is called Eid. So that's why people are buying new clothes and new shoes and excited for the upcoming holiday. So we are from withdrawing some money, so time for us to also go on a shopping spree! Guess in the comment section some of the things that we are looking to purchase. Well, you could think it's in relation to Eid or not, but I'm excited because other people are in the mood of shopping, so why not? So first, before we go shopping, I have some few things that I have to show you in Djibouti because I have not had this chance before to show you so I'm excited like for example the I love Djibouti sign because we have to take these photos for memory and just for fun but right now we are stuck outside a chill place that you could call uh, Jardin Biblique yeah? Jardin Biblique Jar Jardin Biblique it looks for me something close to Djibouti uh, Garden or oh, Public Garden you know uh, oh my god I forgot my country Juvenji Gardens in Ken in Nairobi I don't know if you know yeah but something close to that look how good it looks it's beautiful yeah we can go then we have some palm trees over there this is Djibouti city at night hey allow me to have a conversation with you in the comment section down below let me know in the comment section down below is your country this active at night that around 11 p.m. kids are out in the streets still dancing singing enjoying some even playing and chilling in the park let me know is this something normal from where you came from because from where I come from nope Djibouti I love Djibouti 
Me too. Because I'm keen on observing traffic lights, we are actually heading over there to see the other Djibouti. Yes, beautiful Djibouti at night. So you know what, this side of the city is so chilled and calm that you would not think there is a whole other area that people are cooking are shopping like life is happening so that's the side we are going to now let's go do some shopping so I've seen some ice cream place and I'm like oh. you know what some ice cream in this heat will not hurt because I also love ice cream so much let's see what they have to offer so this is my ice cream let's calm the heat well does this count as shopping I bet it does because I used my money but well, this is a cool spot with all this ice cream everywhere our traditional dress yeah for the man. Ten. That is ten. Uh. <coughs> In my life, I have taken ice cream and I love it. In this heat, I feel like I'm on vacation, I'm telling you. I'm enjoying my time. <laughs> Just as bright as it looks, I'm in the land of all perfumes. Because ah, Djiboutians have like really good perfumes that I've been experiencing, so I'm here to see and try and see. Actually, he's the one who uses it. Mm. Yeah. Look how we are being spoiled with choices and even their packaging. Mm. I'm so confused. Try that one. 
ما عندك حبه ثانيه جاي له جبعه شو عندك فور بويز حق الرجال You know what is interesting? They don't speak English, but he knows every money in English. Yeah. So the business is just make sure you know the price and do business. But it's interesting that this place has all, it's actually called World of Perfume. Perfume swaths, great service, amazing people. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. No more chapati. They call Padira. Padira. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have this. Okay. So I'm in a Volvo. It's a matatu of Djibouti. And what is interesting is the decoration and also how it's almost, almost being like matatu in Kenya, the lighting, the music, and some pimping inside the inside the vehicle. Otherwise, guys, I want to end this video here. Thank you so much, my tour guide. <laughs> I call you a tour guide. That's why I'm laughing. Um, always, always remember to create time for that magic night your soul. Until next time, ciao.